Mr. Eugene, thank you so much for joining us today in the conference. You gave a wonderful speech, very informative. Uh, as you know, Saudi Arabia has been ranked second um, in the cybersecurity index for this year. What do you think that means digitally and what do you think that means for the Saudi digital economy? Uh, I think that Saudi Arabia and this new way in the cyber, especially in cyber security, is very promising uh, because uh, the world is getting more and more digital. Uh, so there's much more needs of the cyber security worldwide. Uh, and I'm not surprised if uh, in the future Saudi Arabia will be one of the providers of some Internet of Things or industrial systems. Um, not only for the region, but the worldwide, uh, which are not just secure, but immune by design. Uh, right now, we see increase in digitalization, especially after the COVID pandemic. Um, with the increase of digi digitalization, di digitalization, the demand is also increased for cybersecurity. But what about accessibility for organizations? Is um, accessibility changed or is it more? Or are some uh, categories still suffering from that? Yeah, it's a very good question because uh, you're absolutely right. Uh, after the COVID, uh, are, most of people in the organization, they're getting more digital, more online. Uh, and not every organization is able to protect able to guarantee the same level of protection as before uh, and actually at the same time the hackers and the criminals they have more free time uh, they're getting more experienced and more smart and that's a very good question how to protect these enterprises so uh, my answer is we have to build we have to design next level of the cybersecurity products which we do and for critical infrastructure for the internet of things we have to switch to secure by design products which are cyber immune what do you have to say about the role of uh, law enforcement and the collaboration between the public and the private sector to make cybersecurity more prevalent um, among all forms of uh, organizations and business? Yeah. Uh, at least there are two major tasks uh, in this uh, the private-public uh, the relations and uh, regulation. Uh, first of all, the regulation itself. Uh, so the uh, infrastructure, especially critical infrastructure, it must be under the cyber regulation. Uh, and second, the investigation. Uh, the cyber police, cyber law enforcement, uh, and uh, international cooperation. Because uh, the cyberspace doesn't have border, so uh, unfortunately the bad guys they can travel in cyberspace as they want. Uh, so there's a very high demand of uh, getting the cooperation between cyber security departments, national cyber security departments, or cyber police of different nations. You spoke about cyber immunity. Um, how would you describe a particular organization more cyber immune than other organizations? Yeah. Uh, the cyber immunity, my definition of cyber immunity is uh, that the system organization or device is cyber immune if the hacker's attack on this device is more expensive than possible damage. So the hackers much, they need to spend more money than the possible damage. Uh, Based on the existing architectures, uh, cyber architectures, it's not possible to reach that level. Uh, so we need to develop, and we know how. Uh, actually, we have these technologies, how to build it, how to reach this level. Uh, when the system is simply unhackable. What do you expect to happen in the next 12 months, in the coming year? If we do see you next year in 2023, um, what are the issues that we think we should talk about? I believe and uh, I dream that uh, we'll have more and more systems which are uh, switching to this new immune platform, uh, Internet of Things mostly. Uh, and uh, I believe that uh, this system will be um, well unhackable and uh, will be enjoy the next, <laughs> the, the better world. Uh, and uh, I'm getting back to Saudi Arabia not next year, but in November, as I remember, so for the another event. So I'll, I'm here. Frequent visitor. What do you expect Saudi Arabia to reach in the coming 12 months or in the coming year as updates in the cybersecurity um, landscape? Uh, that's a very good question and it depends mostly on the Saudi Arabia. Uh, but I really surprised, I enjoy how the country is changing, how it's getting more digital, more cyber and uh, well, very ambitious plans. Uh, so good luck and I will stay with you as a security provider and do my best to guarantee that the country is not just cyber secure but cyber immune. Thank you so much. That was such an honor to have you in the conference and such an honor to have you here for this interview. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.